Well, 2018 promises to be one of the most interesting years politically in our lifetime, not just nationally, but here in Pennsylvania as well. Races on tap for governor and lieutenant governor. Joining us this morning on the Capitol beat is current lieutenant governor Mike Sack. And as we a few of us media types around the Capitol uh, would joke all the time, always the best dressed person in the, in the Capitol. We, we joke, it's you and Senator Regan, uh, well, which are the two best dressed uh, people in the Capitol. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a friend of mine and I like him. You're a good dresser too. Oh, thank so. that. Wow. Uh, there, there's a few people I'm going to brag to that Lieutenant Governor Stack said I was uh, dressing well. Um, one, two, turn two serious topics. Sure. Um, we go back to April. You apologized um, uh, for the way that you and, and your wife may have uh, treated certain state employees that were on your detail, uh, saying that you sometimes express anger and frustration in a way and you let it get out of hand. What has happened since April in the last eight months? What have you learned that would have Pennsylvania's regain your trust? Well, really that was all about a, uh, a private um, health issue in our family. And uh, we've resolved it, we've gotten um, help. And the great thing is that uh, we, we have uh, we have help available through really good health care, and I want that for all Pennsylvanians. So that's the important thing. What have uh, you, uh, how would you describe your relationship currently with Governor Wolf? Well, I think we're lockstep on the issues, and I think uh, our vision for Pennsylvania is, is the same. We want to have the, the best possible state. We want to have jobs, education. Um, we, we want people to be able to be proud to live here, have their kids grow up here, and achieve great things, and I think we can do that together. He said that he wasn't going to release the inspector general's report, and, and you thanked him uh, for that uh, in a statement. Um, he's coming under fire for not being transparent enough, and I'm wondering by asking you, uh, realizing that it is a personal family issue, but do you think that asking the governor to release it would help you in terms of being transparent about the situation? No, I think you know it's it's a private uh, family health issue. I think lots of folks uh, go through those things and. The important thing is that uh, we've gotten so much support across the Commonwealth um, and we're just so grateful for that support and love and just wish that everyone um, can have that. And, and, I, and I think the way the governor's handled the situation is appropriate and excited to move on and accomplish great things for our state. You mentioned that the two of you are in lockstep on the issues. Um, in your mind, moving forward into the next four years, uh, what is the most important issue that um, your administration wants to uh, work on? Well, we really want to make sure that uh, we have the best possible state for uh, economic conditions and jobs and education. Personally, uh, I'm working on a program called Pathway to Pardons to give people a second chance. Um, we have too many people who have made mistakes like decades ago, including your own mayor in York. And these are people that should uh, seek a pardon, and we have that ability in Pennsylvania to give people a second chance who've earned it. And these are our, um, people who can be our coaches, our volunteers, our healthcare workers to fill the jobs in Pennsylvania for the future. And these are people that we've, uh, we've squandered their talents and punished them for crimes that they committed a long time ago. And I really think um, we should do better on that issue in our state. And I think that's what I'm working on. If you are reelected, what, if anything, needs to change about the way the LG office operates? Well, I think it's a, it's a great job. And I think the, the person who's in the job makes the job influential. And I think my experience as a state senator working with other legislators, uh, the ability to uh, get folks to work together across party lines, I think that's very important. And I think I'm going to continue to get better and better. I think we've accomplished some really good things. And I think we can accomplish even more. So I'm excited about the future. And I'm excited about our great state. You mentioned about your work with other senators. And, yeah. and, and there are there have been a number of uh, Democratic senators that have come out already uh, and endorsed you. Yeah. Um, does a lieutenant governor need to have a good relationship with a governor outside of the issues to be an effective administration? Well, I think that uh, relationships are always important, but as long as your vision about what you want for Pennsylvania is uh, in lockstep, as the governor and, and mine is, I think uh, it, it really, that's all you need. And I think uh, we're actually, uh, we, we relate with each other much better than, than, uh, than a lot of people. And I think that we, we want the same things for the state. So I think uh, it's a very positive situation. And I think we're going to do well together. I want to close on a topic that might be the most important issue uh, to a lot of our viewers. And that is Saturday's 
Eagles game because oh you are you are a Philadelphia yes. uh, native and just want to get your thoughts on uh, what you think is going to happen Saturday. Well, you know, I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan, and so we we hope for the best, and we always are convinced the worst will happen. <laughs> I I think that uh, Nick Foles will surprise people and, and do a very highly competent job as quarterback, and the defense will be good, and I think the Eagles will win, and they will be on their road to the Super Bowl. Uh, my, my producer, uh, Dom, just said in my ear when you said that uh, we, we – expect the worst to happen uh -huh. that is accurate <laughs> uh, and so uh, with that in mind uh, yes. thank you for joining us here this Thanks morning on uh, the Capitol beat and uh, Fox 43 morning news will be right back Great.